Force 13 with a update on Hurricane Leslie Cap 1 system. Advisory. Tropical storm warning issued from Adair Island due to Leslie. At 11 p.m., the center of Hurricane Leslie was located near latitude of 30.9 north, longitude 33.9 west. Leslie is moving toward the east-northeast near 26 miles per hour. A continued east-northeast motion with an increase in forward speed is expected through Friday. Leslie is forecast to slow down and turn toward the east or east-southeast by Saturday. On the forecast track, Leslie will pass near Madeira Island by late Saturday. Maximum sustained winds have increased to near 90 miles per hour with higher gusts. Some gradual weakening is forecast during the next 72 hours, and Leslie could transition into a post-tropical low by Sunday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 75 miles from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 205 miles. The estimated minimum central pressure is 969 millibars, 28.62 inches. National Hurricane Center has updated some of the information. Uh, Leslie is 31 decibel, 4 degrees north, 32 decibel, 4 degrees west, about 550 miles southwest of the Azores, 895 uh, miles uh, west of Madeira Island. Maximum uh, sustained winds, 90 miles per hour, and the rest remains the same as what you just uh, heard in the National Weather Service advisory. Hazard affecting land, tropical storm conditions expected Mandela on and beginning early Saturday. Rainfall, Leslie is expected to produce a storm a total accumulations 3 to 6 inches across Madeira Island through Sunday. This could also lead to flash flooding landslides over mountainous terrain. And surf, swells generated by Leslie will likely affect portions of the Azores, Madeira and other areas. Could reach the Atlantic case of Spain, Portugal, Morocco over the weekend. These swells are likely to cause life threatening surf and whip current conditions. Now we have a look at other information. There is still a large guidance spread over 700 miles at day 3 but the main change to the report is that more of the models are continuing the east northeast track longer possibly due to Leslie becoming a stronger system the official forecast has shifted to the east but is still well to the southwest of the model consensus ironically similar to last night's forecast Leslie is a fairly large tropical cyclone Forecast wind radar radii encompasses Mandela Island within 36 hours and as we know a tropical storm warning has been issued. It is the first known tropical storm warning for that place. There are no known tropical storms in historical record anywhere within 100 miles of that island with the closest being events of 2005. Satellite imagery indicated that Leslie continued to strengthen. The small island uh, has occasionally been apparent, although it has recently become obscured by clouds. ASCAT data showed peak winds at 75 knots earlier, and given the low bias of that instrument at wind speeds, the initial wind speed is set to 80 knots. Leslie should begin to weaken in about 24 hours time as the hurricane encounters cool waters and a high shear environment. And should cause Leslie to lose convection transitioning into a post-tropical 
cyclone. And that information will be uh, updated by the National Highway Centre in their next advisory. Now here's a, the track cone, National Hurricane Centre on the Cat 1 cyclone. Earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm force winds. Now we have a look at a couple of uh, model intensity uh, guidance and we know that it is a CAT1 system Early cycle intensity guidance and we know that Leslie will weaken when uh, considering the information that I've just uh, Provided. Now we have a look at the GFS model on Leslie. And again, it's been a, uh, a very busy period for me. I'm currently under a uh, flood watch. Now we have a look at the Sims model it's got the various models their tracks uh, the flood watch is from North Queensland right down into the mid north coast of New South Wales over here on the east coast of Australia now this is total precipitable water and you can clearly see where the Hurricane Leslie is located. Now this has been lifted off the Portugal, and I think it's the Mateo uh, weather website, and it just shows the uh, pressure. And the upper level divergence it remains very healthy where Michael is located. It's up around 40 knots and only probably 5 to 10 knots for Leslie. The wind shear, the favourable area is the green and red is the high wind shear. 24 hour shear tendency. And you can clearly see the uh, red and yellow. And finally, HWRF model. Powerful. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and fool 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>